Good morning. My name's Joanne Jamie, and I'd like to welcome you to our inaugural <coughs> Indigenous Science Experience event here at the Australian Museum. It's my pleasure to be able to introduce and present the first seminar of the series that we have today that's about celebrating Indigenous science and technology. And gradually, you'll sharpen a really nice sharp edge on it. Now see, look up behind us there on the table. All right, who's got some string for me? Grab somebody else and tie it to their bit. Now, this uh, culture circle shows us how to get know uh, language and all that cultural stuff. If we were didn't have this, we wouldn't we didn't we would wouldn't know our language and skins and all that. This is the part of science week where we get to teach the kids. <laughs> Put some CO2 in my mouth. Yep. Everybody agree? Teaching is the greatest part of science week. There's a little sugary blob on the end. I like this sugary coating to the to the egg. That actually attracts the ants. And the ants are And I did this one too. So that's the lesson I want you to take away from this is that people who lived in that way weren't primitive, they were just different from us. They had different technology. So you're an Aboriginal elder. What does that mean? It means an older person for younger people to look up to. Every full moon you can find us along the riverbank fishing. We'd go out in the morning to help the fishermen bring in their nets. So I'd see what plants they'd get. And, and what plants I could eat and what plants I could make medicines out of. And that's what our old people do, isn't it? And they are, they are the professors, they are our teachers. I'm a qualified archaeologist now, see? When you say you're trying to make the bushland healthy... Good use of fire, sustainable use of fire. We marry or we match uh, contemporary science with traditional uh, Aboriginal knowledge. So what we're trying to do is to make the bushland healthy. And what we're trying to do is figure out ways that we can bring together these two ways of thinking and doing in terms of fire management and look at how can we work together to improve the way we manage fire. It really comes from wanting to learn more about my culture. I'm from Bunchlung country. I was born and bred on northern rivers in New South Wales. This our culture circle. If we were, didn't have this, we wouldn't know our language and cultural stuff. In our Aboriginal law, we call it gagu. Gagu, yeah, gagu. Well, do you know what gagu, in our language, gagu means brother. And so we say, ginagay gagu, that's greetings, my brother, and ginagay jinders, that's greeting my sisters. Hello, Abuji. Thank you for teaching me everything I know about... Aboriginal culture and learning from you and your family mob, it's a real pleasure for me to be a part of your family. <laughs> Thank you for adopting me. <laughs> Sorry I'm crying, but I love you too. Bye. Bye-bye.